Hello, good morning guys. So today video I'm going to show you how far we have developed the front end and uh, how we're going to do the rest of the work. Let me show you the uh, progress of uh, front end development that I have completed so far. So basically the login page, registration and the forget password already completed and deployed to our test domain. So yeah, let me show you that part. So this is the login page. I hope you have seen this. Uh, we are the hosted uh, endpoint like postcard.argenges.com. So this login page is already there. So you can see the login, uh, forget password and the registration. So the new thing is I have added this. Here is this uh, email validation and the password validation. Let me show you what sent me. So here as you can see, if we go at the email and the password, the login button will be visible. Uh, yeah, it's visible but uh, not enabled. So I have disabled that if one field is uh, not uh, valid. So yeah, here also you can see this uh, red border. That means this is mandatory fields that uh, we need to enter the both fields to uh, successfully login so let's go to the registration so i have added the same validation over here too so here let me add an email uh, and password uh, yeah so same here it, the button will be enabled after we fill the all the validation so let me click on register example let me add another password and show you what will happen see here we show a message that uh, password does not match when uh, the confirmation in the password is not uh, correct or same so likewise uh, we have added this validation too so as i am going through this i have identified this uh, if there are no values, you can see what's the fields are like email and password. But if we have added any values here, we can't see what is this and what is this. So I think uh, I will redesign this. Like uh, we will have a label up here to show what is this field means. Like so, yeah. The design is a bit different than we design in the Figma. So we have this floating bar to uh, go through some different pages like this is the home page the dashboard page and we have history and budget and reports and also logout option here and uh, we have option to add expenses when we click this one this pop-up comes so we can add any amount and the category what we have spent and uh, also we have to have a uh, date so it will give us more flexibility when we want to generate reports and all still i'm not uh, completely uh, sure what we are going to show these areas but i think uh, these accounts in one category overall category view will be good and this transaction reason transactions will be there in the march uh, expense and budget uh, ratio will be there these fields are temporary added but i'm not sure if you have any ideas uh, please comment down so and also here we have added settings so for now for the settings we have these categories accounts and the account settings so for the category also we have the category name category type uh, this will be primary types i think uh, we will go with these five not sure whether there are any new things or any other things to add please uh, comment below if uh, you think we need another category or something 
so here we will have option to activate or deactivate the category so yeah that's the category part and we will give option to change the password and also uh, if you don't like this application you can also uh, delete the account hope you will love it so yeah uh, those are the main parts i have done uh, so far and also as for the development side i'm trying to do this with the test driven uh, development so first i will design the test cases and then write the code for that test so guys uh, that's all for this video so hope you enjoyed it and if you have any suggestions or uh, comments please add it in below so yeah i will see you in the next episode thank you